Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. It is Friday and I took the day off work. So I'm starting my day. It is 8 o'clock right now. It's actually like 8 after. I got 22 more minutes to go before motor vehicles open. So then I have to get my license renewed because my birthday is coming up. Oh, my nose is itchy. And it's time to get it replaced. And I'm pretty sure I get to keep it for 10 years. But I'm not sure. Um, so I was gonna straighten my hair, and then I was like, no, I don't, I don't, I don't really care. Whatever. So once this is done, I think I'm meeting up with a girlfriend of mine. We are going to go to the gym and do weight training, and then we are going to go out to lunch. So that's kind of the plan for the day. Kind of busy. Lots to do today. Um, I've already started in on cleaning some of the house because the house really needs some attention. And I kind of feel like I have a little bit of energy today. Hopefully I can keep that going all day and all weekend because Greg and I are going to be planting trees this weekend. Did I tell you guys about the trees? We're getting two apple trees, two pear trees, a peach tree, a cherry tree. Yeah, and then we've got the garden too. I'm so excited. We're going to have so much food in our yard. Hey guys, oh what's up? I'm back from getting my license. It's really cool because now the new um our new address is officially on my license. I don't have to carry around that stupid like paper card anymore. Um my license is good for eight years, so that's pretty cool. I don't have to worry about that for quite some time. And right now I'm waiting for my girlfriend to show up so we can go to the gym and Digger's relaxing. Greg is going to pick something up um, that he ordered that is at a truck stop or I don't know, whatever. He has to go pick it up. So he's going to do that and it's supposed to weigh like 500 pounds or something. So I guess I'm going to be helping him with that when he gets home or whenever I get home because I'll probably be out longer than he is. So that's what we're doing. What you doing, Munchkin? You sleeping? You not feeling good? You want me to tell everybody you're getting a little sore? All this snow and the rain and everything is just messing with you. My poor baby. Hey guys, so I was going through my video that I recorded on Friday and Saturday um, because I'm combining the two days together and I was like, oh, I didn't really explain, I got like some weird clips, so <laughs> let me kind of go over everything. So, um, I did go to the gym with my girlfriend. I did not um, video when I was there. I should have asked her to video though, but we're probably going to do some more gym visits, so maybe I can get her to video in the future. Um, we did shoulders and I had a really good workout with her um so that was kind of cool and then also just kind of I have a I don't want to say fear I just sometimes I feel like I'm not lifting um my the weights heavy enough even though that I know that if I do slow controlled movements and I'm doing um a lot of reps that that's actually good and that works for me I just kind of got have to put it in my head like nobody knows how I'm feeling and nobody knows the fatigue and you know I just need to, to work and as long as I'm seeing progress that's all that matters um, sometimes I get into my own head about stuff like that which is weird and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense but it, it is what it is so I had a really good workout with her then we went out to lunch um, so that was pretty cool and then I came home uh, she did she gave me a um, new scale and the scale is like really really cool so basically with this scale it doesn't tell you what your actual weight is it tells you if you're up or down now there is an app and I can um, find out exactly what um, like where I'm at because it does calculate like where you're at because it has to know but basically when you look at the scale itself it's like you're up 0.2 pounds or you're down you know 0.4 pounds it kind of just shows you the up or down it doesn't give you an exact number um so the app that i'm actually using weight guru it's right down here the little mountain and then when you click it it has a graph and then it tells you down here like it's got my weight and it says i've checked in three times um and it also gives you like an up or down so when you're actually looking at the scale, it gives you up and down. At the top here in the app, it says I'm 0% to my goal. See, it says 0% to goal, 
but it tells you for the week if you're up or down. Um, so for me, it's saying that I'm down uh, 0.2 pounds for the three days that I've um, registered, that I've registered my weight. The light is trying to adjust, sorry. Um, so that's kind of what is up with the scale. The scale's pretty cool. Um, I think it's like 40 or $50 if you want one. Um, but it's cool if you mentally, you know, are like constantly looking at the number. As long as you see a plus um, or, you know, a minus, then it's kind of letting you know like, hey, you're up a little bit this week or you're down this week, but it's not, you, you don't have to obsess so much over a number, which is probably something I need to focus on because I have a problem with hopping on the scale way too many times in a day, <laughs> just way too many. Um, so on Friday night, Greg and I looked outside and we had the strangest moon. It kind of looked like a full moon, but not a full moon. And the sky was like all kind of funky. I don't, I don't know. It was just weird. We were outside and we were trying to take snapshots of it. Um, so then on Saturday, I guess that the moon had something to do with the way that the sky was had something to do with the weird weather that we had this weekend because it was snowing. These flakes are so huge. Um, and we had like ice balls coming down and it snowed like we four times yesterday hey, look at them. Look out here. More of this bipolar weather can y'all see the balls bouncing off of the um, leaves So everything melted and now it's back <laughs> What do we see out here? Oh My look at that Bouncing on my hand. <laughs> You're like a kid. <laughs> I'm looking at this and it looks like little kernels of popcorn popping. It's so funny. The little styrofoam things that was in them packing stuff. Yeah, there. it does look like the little styrofoam packing peanut thingies. That is so funny. The yard's turned away already with that. All, uh, under, yeah. under the trees. But look, it's not like it's snow laying. It's look. like the, the wall, balls of They're like. Hitting the sign. And it's piled up under the sign, going like that along. Oh gosh. Kind of, you know, blank on anything. Uh uh uh. That's weird looking on bounce off the bushes. Yeah, I know. That's pretty funny. <laughs> It didn't accumulate to anything, but it's just the idea of like, come on, dude, Mother Nature, it's spring, WTF, what's going on with you? What, what is wrong with you? So, <laughs> that's kind of all of that. And then um, we also got our trees for the yard, which is really cool. I'm really excited about that. Look guys, we got our trees. Yay, trees. Louisiana, Missouri. You see that? Yep. <laughs> so we got our trees. So we got two apple trees, two pear trees, a peach tree, and a cherry tree. Right? Okay. I got it. I got it right. Oh, I'm excited. So we're going to plant these. I don't know when. And your grapes are in there. Oh, my grapes are in here too? Boop, boop. Grapes too. Ha oh, ha, it's going to be a good summer. Alright, so this is everything we have. We have... Asian pear, golden delicious apples, Bartlett pear, sweet cherry, gala apples, raven, red haven, peach, concord seedless grapes, and what is that? Oh, that's okay. That's the whole um, 
it was like the dwarf fruit tree set it's like a whole set it's everything i just read off to you guys so that's everything oh i'm excited and this is how everything comes so everything's kind of like wrapped up real good here and the roots in the trees yay yeah, everything's good. The box looks good. Everything's good. Unfortunately, because of the weather this weekend, we did not get a chance to plant them, but hopefully within this coming week, um, Wednesday, or maybe by the weekend, we'll have the um, trees planted and in the ground. We've got stuff for the grapes and the apples and the pears and the peaches. So, yay, I'm excited about that. But that's pretty much um, it. So, yeah, I just wanted to kind of explain to you guys what all that stuff was. And we will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. And I use it, like, <laughs> under my boobs sometimes because you get boob sweat. And my thighs. And sometimes, like, I'll put, like, a little bit, like, my lower back. It just kind of really depends where... I tend to be sweating or like rubbing or kind of feeling irritated.